Hello, and in today's video we're doing a prediction, a mid-season, well actually it's probably latter stage of the season prediction, for the Premier League 2020-21 to Golden Boot standings. So we're going to try and predict who's going to score the most goals, who's getting that golden boot, and uh, how it's basically all going to pan out. So let's, before we do anything, let's get up the current standings in the golden boot race for the Premier League and uh, we shall see what it's looking like. So basically there's eight games to go um, of the season so it's going to be interesting to see uh, who you know starts to get that momentum, who starts to get the majority of the goals but as it stands now top of the chart we have Mr Harry Kane with 19 goals and 13 assists from 28 games. Then Mo Salah is very closely behind him on 18 goals, 3 assists, 29 games played. So Kane's got a bit of an advantage in that respect. Then Bruno Fernandes and Patrick Bamford have both played 30 games. 16 goals for Bruno and 14 for Bamford. That's the same total for Calvert-Lewin from 26 games. And Son Heung-min, 13 from 29 and finally, Jamie Vardy, 12 from 26. So those are probably the only contenders. You know, I feel, feel like Ilkay Gundogan and Ollie Watkins and Lacazette are probably too far off now. And with the fixtures they've got coming up to the rest of the season, probably won't be able to catch up. So it probably ends at Jamie Vardy. Now, we of course know Jamie Vardy is the current holder of the Premier League Golden Boots. So, you know, he's got that to contend with and he's got that motivation to keep scoring and retain his golden boot but it's going to be interesting who do we think is going to win it well I feel like over these next few weeks it could have a massive role because the fixtures coming up you've got Tottenham facing up against Manchester United and that sees Bruno Fernandes up against Mo Salah um sorry Bruno Fernandes up against Harry Kane I should say and also Son Heung-min if he's still realistically has a shout. Um, he also oh, didn't start against uh, Newcastle, Son Heung-min, but he did come off the bench um, for a little bit of time. So that is interesting, but we will see uh, what happens with that. But right now, Harry Kane it has very much got the um, control and is looking good for it. So uh, the week after that, obviously, the t player in fourth right now, Patrick Bamford, he plays up against a slightly better opposition, I suppose, than Man City in Liverpool. But also that sees Salah go up against Patrick Bamford. And then uh, the week after that, uh, Everton face Arsenal. So that will be interesting. Calvert-Lewin realistically can score against many teams. But I feel like right now, it's not going to be Calvert-Lewin who's getting the golden boot. Now, it seems harsh to rule them out, but at the minute... I think Everton are just too inconsistent to have this man get their golden boots. So I'm going for Calvert-Lewin is ruled out of the list. Jamie Vardy is an interesting one because his remaining games, like he's got some very good fixtures. Um, but Leicester, they are quite up and down without Madison, without Vardy. Is, is Vardy going to get, um, without Barnes, I, I should say, is Vardy going to get the, the, the service he requires to get this golden boot? Well... It's an interesting debate, but I feel like with Le with Leicester, you can always expect the unexpected. Their fixtures, they have West Ham, West Brom, Palace, Southampton, which probably chances for Vardy to score loads of goals. And then even against the big teams like Man United, Chelsea, Tottenham, Leicester can score goals as well. So I feel those last eight games, um, ranging from West Ham to Tottenham, there's a chance there for Jamie Vardy. And he always scores against West Ham. Unfortunately for Vardy, there isn't an Arsenal game in there. He likes to score against Arsenal. But also, he does like to score against West Brom. Because, you know, they're their rivals from the Midlands. He also likes to score versus Palace. Um, and also got that iconic eagle celebration against Crystal Palace. Um, and then he loves playing Newcastle. And, you know, we know what he can do there. And he loves playing Manchester United. And he loves playing Tottenham. So these are a lot of teams that he does score often against. So watch out for Jamie Vardy. In terms of the other contenders, Son Heung-min, I feel like he's a little bit 
you know, up and down at the minute. We can't quite bank on his form. I mean, again, with fixtures, they, they miss a game in week 33, but they're not bad fixtures. You know, Leeds are quite leaky. Wolves are quite leaky. Obviously, Sheffield United are very leaky, and that could just make the difference in that one game. But I feel like Son is getting a lot more assists at this part of the end of the season rather than goals. So I doubt he'll get the golden boot, in my opinion. So Son is ruled out. Vardy's still very much in the mix. And then next up, we have Patrick Bamford. And we said that Calvert-Lewin is not going to go. But with Bamford, I feel like he's a bit more involved in the chances and possibly has a chance to have a really strong end to the season. So... Yeah, Leeds fixtures aren't exactly ideal, but you know, if he just starts getting goals in that Brighton game, then in the Burnley game, and then the last two are quite nice, you could see a, a, a return in form there. So I think that Bamford's definitely going to be a contender, but is he going to be the winner of the Golden Boot? Not in my opinion. So we're ruling out Patrick Bamford for now. Um, the next on it is Bruno Fernandes, and I just feel like Manchester United, I'm not sure how much they're going to go for the rest of the season. Their fixtures aren't bad. Um, they have Fulham and Wolves in the last two. But then Liverpool, Leicester, not easy. Tottenham next week. So I feel like Fernandez will probably, his goals will decrease even if his you know assists might increase. So Fernandez, I'm ruling you out for the golden boot. And then we've got Salah and Kane. So it's between Vardy, Salah and Kane. And these are the three big names, I suppose, over the last few seasons in the Premier League that we're, we come to know for goals and for goals only. Now, Salah is an interesting one because this season he's been awful at times, but also he's been brilliant at times. So it's whether he can keep up some consistency. Well, if you look at Liverpool's games, there's some very, very nice fixtures. So there's form from that Liverpool uh, against Arsenal game that he had just recently, and there's fixtures and with the games coming up against Newcastle, Southampton, West Brom. And that's very going to be uh, an interesting end because... Some of those games are teams fighting down the bottom and he could have a big say ultimately, Mo Salah, on who stays and who st you know stays up and who gets relegated. So he's going to punish these small teams, you would imagine, even though he didn't do it earlier on in the season. He probably will now because you know Liverpool want to end strong. They want to get top four. So I think it's between, for me, Salah and Harry Kane. I'm sorry, Vardy. I know I said I wouldn't rule you out, but I think I have to just because he's already too far away. I know that Vardy can score in bursts and he likes to score loads of goals in one game, but I just think right now with ha Barnes and Madison out of the team, that is too difficult for Vardy to do it all on his own. He's got the link up with Ian Acho, but has he really got the chance to, to do it now? I don't think so. So Salah and Kane, it's always been the big debate, isn't it? Um, that is tough because Kane is obviously wanting to get the golden boot. It's his probably last season at Tottenham if he does leave. And Salah has got a point to prove because Liverpool have had a poor season. He'll just want something positive out of this season. So, yeah, it's a really close one. And if you look at the goal conversion right now, you know, Salah is very much converting his chances. 26% compared to Kane's 22. Um, just 129 minutes per goal for Harry Kane, whereas it's a bit more for uh, Mo Salah, 135 and if you look at it, Kane has played less games and he's got more goals. So the main thing is Kane is making the most out of the games he's getting. Um, and he's got actually a lower shot accuracy um, than uh, the Mo Salah. But also he's got a lower shot conversion than Mo Salah. So I think Mo Salah is probably the favourite. But we're going to go with Harry Kane. He currently leads the way right now. And I think he'll want to basically put himself up for the... Um, the shop window, if you get what I mean. If he does leave Spurs, which I think he deserves to, to go to a bigger club and to try and win some silverware, he'll want to end his time at Tottenham on a high. And that thing's, means I think he'll just score goal after goal. And I think he will get the golden boot for the 2020-21 to 21 season. In terms of the standings and how close it will be, I think with those fixtures for Tottenham, it could be quite close between him and Salah. You know, Salah's fixtures are actually incredible, but... I've got a feeling that Kane will have an amazing game. Uh, they play; he plays against Everton and Southampton in the, you know, small period of time. He'll have an amazing game against both of those teams. Teams he always scores against. Sheffield United are the worst defense in the league, so he'll probably get about three in that. And then Leeds probably one goal, 
Wolves maybe two or three, and then Aston Villa one goal, Leicester one goal. So he'll have enough to kind of end the season strongly, and I think that he'll end the season on a total of 28 goals. And I think Salah will be very, very close behind him on 26. So two goals more for Harry Kane. And in third, we're going with Jamie Vardy, 22 goals in my opinion. I think he's going to catch up uh, for the rest of the season and get 10 more goals in the final eight games. And in fourth, we're going to go with Bruno Fernandes, 17 goals, just one more goal for the rest of the season. Um, and uh, th yeah, there's a little bit of a gap there between Vardy and Bruno. And then in fifth, we'll go for Calvert-Lewin with 15 goals. Um, again, another disappointing season considering he started so well. But that is our FPL, I'm sorry, our, no, Golden Boot, uh, I always think is FPL, our Golden Boot um, predictions for the rest of the season, Premier League. Get yours in the comment section below and uh, smash a like on the video. Um, I was trying to just work out logistically what's going to happen. Obviously, I could be wrong. Get your thoughts in the comments, but thanks for watching. Bye-bye.